Hi guys, welcome to CarClick101. In this video, I will show you how to replace the camshaft position sensor and clear the P0341 and P0342 alarm codes. And I will show you how to test a camshaft position connector. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So here I have a check engine light and I will scan this with an OBD scanner. The OBD port is usually located here below the steering wheel. This OBD scanner connects to my phone via Bluetooth. Now I will switch to my mobile phone. I will click the fault codes and scan the alarms. Now it is reading the float codes. It takes a while so I will fast forward. Here are the results. P0341 and P0342 codes. It says all about the camshaft position sensor. The camshaft position sensor is at the side of the cylinder head cover. So here it is. First, I will remove the air intake filter system to have space. We have four bolts that hold the air filter case. There are two at the front, one at the back, and one at the intake port. Then, we'll be going to loosen the steel tape. First, we're going to remove the two bolts at the front. That's one. Then, the second bolt. That's two. I will be using an extension to remove the bolt at the back. That's the third bolt. Then, we're going to loosen the steel tape. Then, wiggle and pull. Then, we're going to remove the last bolt here at the intake. Now the air system has been removed. We're going to clean the side of the camshaft position sensor. You don't want dirt to go inside your engine. Let's spray a little soapy water. It's a dish soap and water mixture. Then wipe at the sides with a damp cloth or paper towel until all are clean. Then remove the connector. Let's check if the signal or voltage is coming out of the multimeter. Set the multimeter to DC volts. Then turn the key to the on position but do not crank the engine. Put the negative terminal in the center. Then place the positive terminal on the right side. We have a 12 volt reading. Then on the left side, we have a 4.98 volt. So there is no problem with the connector or the ECM. Now let's replace the camshaft position sensor. Turn the key to the lock position. Remove the bolt that locks the camshaft position sensor. Remove the old sensor and compare it with the new sensor. Check if they are identical. Now place the new camshaft position sensor. Then put the bolt in place and we're going to tighten it. Then connect the connector. Check if it locks in place. Now we're going to put the air filter system back. Connect the large tube, push and wiggle slowly, then tighten the seal tape, then add the bolt in the intake port, then add the bolts at the front of the air filter, then tighten each bolt, then screw the third bolt at the back. Now double check if the connections are in place. Let's start the car. So the check engine light is still there. Let's scan again with the OBD scanner. Now I will switch to my phone. Then we'll scan the fault codes. The alarm is still there. Let's try to clear the fault codes. It says you should only perform this when you replace the damaged part. And if not, the alarm will reoccur again. So let's clear the alarm. Then I'm going to restart the app again. Then search for fault codes. Now the alarm is cleared, so we fixed the problem and cleared the fault codes. If this video was helpful, hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of my upcoming car videos.